accurately measuring areas within your plans is essential for creating an estimate. So let's take a look at how to take off area items quickly and efficiently within on-screen takeoff. Before performing takeoff, please remember to set the scale on your page. You can take off area conditions in several different ways within on-screen takeoff. To perform takeoff, first, select an area condition from the Conditions panel on the left side of the screen. Then, move your mouse to the image, find the area you want to take off, and click in a corner. From here, move your mouse to the next corner and click again. Just click every time you need to change direction and trace the shape's outline. Double-click to close the area when you reach the end. Note that you can double-click on the second-to-last point and do not have to bring the cursor back to the beginning point. Your quantities update immediately upon finalizing the shape. If you have a rectangle or square area, it's even simpler to draw your area. Find a corner and then click and drag across to the opposite corner. Once you release your mouse, the shape is closed and your quantities update immediately. Now suppose you're working on a project that would benefit from taking off more than one area at the same time. In that case, you can do that easily within on-screen takeoff. Navigate to the Conditions panel and hold down the Control key. Then, select all the area conditions you want to take off in the space. After that, move to the image and draw your takeoff using one of the methods we just described. Once you close the shape, all the selected conditions are drawn into that area and all their quantities are updated immediately. Now that you can draw your area takeoffs, let's take a look at how to edit them. Typically, when editing, you'll want to switch from takeoff mode to select mode. You can press the arrow icon at the top of the screen or use the space bar on your keyboard to toggle between takeoff and select mode. Now, find the area you want to edit and select it. You now have a variety of options at your disposal. First, you can click and drag on the area shape to move it around the plan. This works well if you copy and paste takeoff for identical rooms or offices on a floor plan. After you move the takeoff, there are also tools along the right side of the screen to rotate and flip your takeoff to ensure it's properly oriented. If you made a mistake when drawing the exterior segments of your area, don't worry. If you hover your mouse over the outside edge of the area, a plus sign displays next to the arrow. If you click when the plus sign is visible, a new grip point is added to the exterior edge of the area. You can add as many grip points as you need and then use them to modify the shape of your area. Finally, you may run into a scenario where you must split your area into two or more different areas. This could be useful if you want to cut out a corridor from your area measurements, for example. Once you've selected an area you want to divide, select the Split Area tool located in the list of icons on the right side of the screen. After you select the button and your cursor changes to a crosshair, left-click and drag your mouse to draw a line through the area to indicate how you want to divide it. The area then splits into two different pieces of area takeoff. You're now equipped with the tools needed to draw and edit your area takeoffs. With these skills in your toolkit, you're well on your way to boosting efficiency and accuracy on your projects, allowing you to bid on more projects and win more work.